Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario vs. Donkey Kong playthrough. We are going through the plus levels, uh, kind of the secondary part of this game. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun with these. Uh, these levels have been a lot more enjoyable than the first part of the game. Uh, so I've honestly been having fun with this. The videos have been a lot shorter, but uh, still, I've, I've legitimately been enjoying these levels, so I'm looking forward to playing more. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with uh, Fire Mountain Plus. We're back to the volcano, and we're back to uh, trying to rescue more Mini Mario toys. So uh, let's see what we got here. So let's see, we got a Mini Mario toy up there. I uh, don't want to um, do anything with that yet, so let's do this just so we can... Oh. Oh, I can't get up here. Okay, well, whoops. Okay, so this is going to be a little tricky, <laughs> to say the least. Um, okay, what do I need to do? You know what, I'm going to have to do this. Let's try to get him awake, get um, him up here, lure him to this space over here. Okay, no, I have to hit the red block, that's right, okay. I'll get this, I'll get this, guys. I'll get this. <laughs> It'll just take, a, just take a minute or two to get this thing figured out. So go over here. Do this. And then do this. this will allow him to come back over this way. Uh, blue to fall down. Red to go down here. Oh wait, no, I have to actually. Okay, so I need to. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well we got him saved at the very least. I need to figure out how to get the other present. But for the most part, I think we have this pretty well figured out. Just gonna be a matter of pressing the right buttons in the right order, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, also, notice how we did get the high score; we just didn't get the star. I'm guessing for the star, in addition to getting the high score, you also have to um, get the presence as well. So that's why that didn't work. But uh, let's go ahead and try this again. Um, but yeah, um, shoot, forgot to pick him up first. Okay, jump up here, jump up here, go over this way, press. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. So I actually could have got this a lot earlier, I just didn't do it in the right order. Okay. And this should definitely be a uh, star completion. Yep. Okay. Wow, once again, we get another 5-up. That's fine. <laughs> uh, three, two. Let's see what we got this time. Okay, so it looks like we have the annoying bird in this level, which uh, that's going to be a little obnoxious. Oh. <laughs> I admittedly wasn't paying attention right there. <laughs> My bad. Okay, well, let's try this again. I feel like if I go a little faster, I might be able to avoid some of this stuff. I don't know why you didn't fall down there. Guess I need to wait on the uh, falling platforms a little longer. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. <laughs> I am just not paying attention to anything, apparently. Uh, okay, hold on. Here we go. Okay, grab the mini Mario, go down here. Come on! There was nothing I could have done right there. <laughs> oh man, these birds. Here we go. I could try to wait a little while for the birds to disappear. I'm just waiting a bit too long on those platforms, too. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. Here. Damn it! <laughs> oh, this level is like really throwing me off here. I don't think it's that hard or anything, it's just again, like the timing of everything just keeps getting me. Okay, let's try this again. Wait a little longer. Perfect, okay. Now it's not over yet. that little extra time I took doesn't mess me up in getting the uh, high score or anything, but it shouldn't. Nope, we got it. Okay. So yeah, you just had to have a little more patience with that one, I guess. I was kept trying to maybe finish that faster than the way I needed to. Which, hey, that happens. Sometimes you just gotta remember to take it easy. Okay, let's see if we can save the red one. Yep, okay, so we get two lives. It's not the 5-up we could have gotten earlier, but it's still something. Okay, 3-3+. Three, three plus. Here we go. Okay, so... This looks like another one where you have to be patient. on that one, too. <laughs> well, we both died. <laughs> That's kind of a shame. Okay, so I think I need to go back to the bottom part, I think, for the, um, once I get the red present. I think that's kind of what the game is expecting me to do. Okay, yeah, I think that is what the game wants me to do. Honestly, I could probably just save all the presents for, like, as I'm going back, honestly. I might just do that, that way I don't have to worry about, like, optimizing too much. Okay, so I need to jump when the fire is going down there. Okay, that's gonna be kind of tricky to get, but I can I can keep messing. Ah! <laughs> the thing is, like, you have to remember, like, you can't pick up the mini Mario. That's uh, that's the one kind of annoying thing is you can't pick it up and take it with you. So you have to like kind of like plan for it to be, like, just shortly behind you. Okay, so that's it. 
That was close. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so I need to, like, actually wait a little bit. That's what I need to do for this one. Okay, I made that this time. Open the door. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess just... I don't know. The timing for that is just really, really awkward, I think. But I made it work. Yeah, you just gotta get the feel for it, I guess. That's all I can really suggest here. Because honestly, that took, like, longer than I wanted it to. But let's get these lives back after I lost, like, around ten of them in, like, the last few stages. But hey, I think we're still still making decent progress. I mean, we're, you know, about at the halfway point and the halfway point of the video, so I don't think that's too bad. Uh, three, four plus. Let's see. Oh boy, it's a falling down level. How does he keep jumping up here? That's what messes me up. How do you keep jumping up here? So we gotta do something that I guess kind of trap him, or at least prevent him from jumping that trampoline immediately. Okay, I think I figured out what I'm kind of supposed to do, maybe. falls down here, basically when we hit this switch, there we go, that's what we gotta do. Okay. So yeah, that wasn't too bad, it's just she had to kind of figure that, okay, how am I supposed to get him down there when he jumps across that gap every single time? So no, you just have to be at that same elevation, and basically the way you do that is kind of delay his uh, own progression, so... Again, I think that's kind of a clever puzzle, just kind of one of those you have to, like, kind of just try different things and see if it works. Which I have nothing against those kind of puzzles. Kind of reminds me of Adventures of Lolo, in a sense, because I feel like there were a lot of puzzles like that in that game. Okay, so let's see... Okay, well, Mini Mario is dead. <laughs> Mini Mario is dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, okay, I see where we're supposed to go. Okay, I 
Nice job, little guy. See, we had a nice little adventure, a nice lava-filled adventure with the mini Mario. Yeah, and a nice little breather stage after some of these kind of more puzzle-heavy stages we've had the last couple of times. One, two, three. So yeah, still kind of digging this. Obviously had a little bit of difficulty early in this world, but uh, I think we're kind of wrapping it up and uh, having a little more fun with it. Okay, there's a blue balloon. I almost said balloon, the blue present. Wow, the hitbox for that is actually, like, a lot bigger than what you would think. <laughs> Gotta admit, a little, a little surprised by that. On. <laughs> Rage! <laughs> I don't approve of that. Ugh, that's stupid. You're stupid, game. No, you're not stupid, you're just mildly annoyed. That's all. Ah, <laughs> oh, mildly annoyed. Great. Just what, I, just what he truly aspires to be. Really? Come on. <laughs> that's not right. I don't like this bird, though. Ugh. Oh, come on! Frickin' Moltres. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Moltres from now on. Get it! Get in that door! <laughs> oh, man. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. You gotta be kidding. How are we supposed to do that faster? I have to beat that 11 seconds faster. What the hell? Okay, I have kind of a theory on that one. at this point. Wee, wee, wee. We'll just see what we get. Okay, I got one up. Not that it mattered. Okay, let me not go the long way around. Shy guy is gonna be annoying. That's the main problem, I think, with this level is finding out what the hell to do with this shy guy. I think I'll take him with me, and then, like, once I get to the back here, I'll just throw him back the other way. I 
Okay, I do like that. I just need to make sure I jump on the lower blocks there, just so I can get the mini Mario back on screen. Here we go. Yeah, I do like this idea, because... The thing is, I do have to worry about the red package, but I feel like... Come on. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's definitely more than 11 seconds. That's a very tight one, though. I guess I, I just kind of made it more complicated, I guess, by going over it to start with. Makes more sense just to go straight over, which I think is more than logical. Okay, well, we figured that out. Now we have the Donkey Kong stage, and then we can wrap this video up. Honestly, like, again, there were some difficulties here, but I still feel like uh, this level was... Well, it wasn't eh, but like, it was still better than most of the first part of the game. Also, I kind of remember this one. This is an interesting, uh... Interesting gimmick here, I guess. So here we have like all these uh, disappearing blocks, and the goal is we need to obviously camp it. <laughs> uh, we need to definitely uh, we obviously need to use the barrels to hit DK. That kind of goes without saying. But we and you know as much as you think that like oh you don't want to like uh, get rid of the floor too much. It's also kind of un unavoidable. You will have to get rid of the floor at some point. So you just kind of have to... Also, you lose all your lives if you just touch the lava once, which is kind of dumb, I think. Seriously, why do you lose all your lives just from that? It's not like I threw all six toys in there. And it, when you get flattened, you lose all your lives, too. What the hell? <laughs> but no, you just get knocked over by a barrel. Like, oh, don't worry, you just lose one of them. I mean, get, given, I guess the other ways of dying are, like, way more extreme and deadly. Like, I'm not going to argue that, but still kind of interesting, I guess. Got him, okay. I think that was pretty good. I think that was a pretty good fight. I found kind of a rhythm that started to work for me. I had the rising blocks that I could use to hit, make get the hits in, so I think it I think it definitely worked. Oh you, it's all you baby. <laughs> oh Mario. Okay, well there we go, there's the high score, and that is gonna do it for World 3 Plus. Let's go ahead and see the cutscene and then move on to the next world. And there we go. Next time we're going to be taking on the Spooky House Plus. So this has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Later folks.